spring time it was arrived with the labourer of plot. And it's now time to sow that good stock to full crop, the potato. Or to give us pet name from the pages of history, the humble spud. Firstly, the ground has to be dug and tilled, to a suitable condition to accommodate growth. The tools in use here are the fallow spade and four pronged tiller, with a liberal amount of fallow manure fought into the soil to ensure a successful germination. The spuds were then planted using an implement known as a ski beam or a spiked spade, which carved out a suitable hole in the earth into which the spuds were dropped. This implement was totally made from wood, either by the local carpenter or a travelling tradesman known as the Gobbon Seer. The fallow spade and four pound tiller were generally manufactured by the local village blacksmith. The lumper potato has a big history in Ireland, dating back to the great potato bank of the middle 1840s, resulting in the decimation of the crop, totally wiping it out, culminating in the migration of thousands of people 
to foreign shores, especially from the western seaboard, as this humble spot was their only source of food for all three meals daily. This tragedy became a great source of culture for writers of poets alike of all denominations, including this piece here from the late great Paddy Kavanagh from County Monaghan. O oh, half potato on my plate, is it too soon to celebrate that centenary of 48 or even 47? You boasted in the centre too, in wet and soapy soil you grew, but I was thankful still to you for hints of history given. There's something lonely far away in what you symbolise today. For me, the half went astray of life the uncompleted. Along the brown drills you pink put start with truer truth than truth of art, ignoring last year's broken heart and a generation defeated. Such is life without a wife, a half potato eater.